me, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we are, peeps. We made it. We made it after a little technical difficulty, right? But we are determined to come to you live on behalf of EPIC. EPIC stands for Empowering People and Inspiring Community. My name is Samantha, and I am the co-publisher and co-creator of EPIC Tri-County CT. And EPIC Tri-County CT is this beautiful, multifaceted platform of positive media, of resources and connections that help to empower, inspire, and uplift each and every person that we connect with. So I am so grateful to be here live. Um, a little technical difficulty off to the side. We can thank Mercury for that. But we're going to affirm that Mercury is working with us right now because I have a beautiful guest I'm going to bring on in a few minutes. Her name is Jennifer. Let me get through some announcements, get my feet on the floor after that little snafu. Give a shout out to the beautiful co-publisher and co-creator of Epic, Lisa. Lisa is working hard um, from behind the scenes, her place, her space, right? It's me, you see, but she's always back in the background working the comments um, and making sure that this goes off well and successful. Please let us know that you're here and let Lisa know that you appreciate all that she does. Give us a comment. This is not... Um, this is not just a monologue or dialogue, whatever. I want to hear from you. This is a conversation. I want to see the comments. So for those just joining, uh, again, my name is Samantha, and I'm going to be bringing forward a beautiful guest on Epic Interviews. I wanted to just touch on, we've been doing Epic Interviews for approximately, I don't know, six months maybe, since the onset of, of the transformation brought about by COVID. Um, and the purpose of this short time together on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays is to introduce you, introduce you to practitioners, business owners, creatives, uh, authors, uh, introduce them to you and put you in connection with and to connect you with them. It really is an introduction. And I'm going to put this right out there coming up soon in 2021 before we know it. We're going to be bringing on longer segments where for example i'll invite jennifer on who's the guest today and we're going to be going really in depth into the different modalities and practices that they have but for now we're going to stick with the epic interviews which is just that introduction and interviewing real quickly beautiful practitioners business owners from around connecticut that are a part of our tribe all right so i have two quick announcements to make Whew. already uh, tomorrow, Thursday, yay, is the group hypnosis session with Carl Brown at the Health Food Corner on Main Street in Winstead. Please, if you have any questions, give me a shout out. Samantha at epic, tricountyct.com. It is going to be a safe, loving environment for you to experience hypnosis, what it's about, um, and what it is not, right? That's something that Carl Brown really focuses on is what hypnosis is not. So join us tomorrow at 6.30, Health Food Corner in Winston, all right? But tonight, we have another huge event that Epic um, is really excited about. It is for the Avon Holistic Chamber of Commerce. It is a free Zoom. We've posted the link on our Facebook page. You log on at 6.30. You get to connect with the Avon Holistic Chamber of Commerce president, Cheryl Case, other members of the chamber, practitioners, all who are with, they're bringing you uh, prizes through this wellness evolution that they've been working on for almost a complete year. And these prizes are not these little, little prizes. We're talking Reiki certifications. We're talking a full day spa treatment with facials and microabrasion, all this stuff. We're talking drum building, all right? It's free, sign on, okay? Sign on. Um, the link is in our in our Facebook page, on our Facebook page. So, whew, I'm tired already, but I have a lady I'm bringing on. I met uh, through Teresa Nat from Teresa Nat Studios, who's a beautiful photographer and connector herself. Um, she connected me with Jennifer, and Jennifer Hirschberg Wise is the owner of Radiant Journey LLC, and it's an integrative wellness um, practice. She is mobile. She is bold. She is bright. 
Um, and her mission is to empower and inspire and to bring the whole person to the center of their universe. So without any further ado and without any further technical glitches, let me bring on Jennifer. Give her some epic love in some epic life. Here we go. <laughs> it works. Hey, everyone. So happy. Yeah. thank you for letting me be here and inviting me here today. What a, oh beautiful, what a beautiful spirit you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I remember when we connected for the first time a couple of months ago on the phone, I was like, ooh, I like her. I like the energy and I like your your outlook. And so I like you and love you. Can you tell our community, like, who are you, Jennifer? How has your radiant journey evolved to where you are right now? Right. Let us Thank you for that question. I like I like telling people about where I began because where I am now is not where I intended. It was not even on the radar. I when I was like early in my twenties, going to school, I figured I was covering all bases by double majoring, and and then life took a different turn. I discovered other things. I discovered that what I thought I wanted wasn't exactly what I wanted. Uh, so then it was like, uh oh, it was kind of that moment where I have to say, I can't just keep doing the same thing. I need to, I need to be brave. I need to be bold. And what I'm ultimately looking for is something that I need to create. And, and actually what was really interesting is the image that became my logo um, just kept dancing in my dreams. And I, at some point was like, okay, I have to I have to contact a graphic designer, um, and and it was really uh, thank you for sharing my logo. Uh, yeah. All the colors of the rainbow, of the chakras, uh, the sun, it's radiant. I love the strong E sound, um, and the word journey is pretty much where we all are. We're all trying to find our own path and ultimately create a better life for ourselves. Um, so my my background and my training as an occupational therapist. Uh, it was like night and day different from when I was doing sales and marketing in my life before, my, before occupational therapy. Um, and a lot about what occupational therapy is, is looking at the entire person, finding out what their goals are, developing a plan to meet those goals. Typically, uh, you know, I, even when I remember when I, my mom, my mom, I love my mom. She was the one, <laughs> she was the one that told me, you really, you know, what about occupational therapy when I was kind of at that crossroads when I was trying to figure out now what do I do with the rest of my life? Yeah. I was, I think at that point I was 25. And I was like, what I, I know what I don't like doing, but I have no idea what I want to do. Um, so mom suggested looking into occupational therapy. And like a lot of people who don't know, they're like, I have no idea what occupational therapy is. So I began an information gathering and research like moment, which I gave myself time and the space to be like explore what it is before just uh, uh, outright saying no because you know mom, moms know best maybe you know <laughs> it's a secret <laughs> no <laughs> my, my my children so um, so I began exploring and I realized when I was shadowing some uh, some uh, an occupational therapist at my local hospital that I really liked what I saw I liked how I felt I liked the interaction. And that's when I realized what was missing from my my path, making those meaningful those those me, like meaningful and deep, heartfelt connections with people, and really being able to facilitate and guide, and also be guided on on our own respective paths. Uh, right. So then that that decision kind of prompted me to go through extensive, I think it was about three and a half years of training, um, and. And it was, it changed, it changed me. I think where I was earlier in my life, like in my, for me, myself, yes, we have a lot of young occupational therapists who are gifted and talented. For me, myself, when I was in my early 20s, I could not totally grasp the depth of, of encountering somebody who's experienced such a health crisis, a change in function, and now they are trying to pick up the pieces of their life. So that is something that I, I think being for myself, being a little more mature, being a little more uh, experienced in life has helped me become the therapist that I am today. Uh, so I, I, 
um, I just wanted to to go back and touch on you said that you know you were around 25 when you started really looking at what it is that you you like to do and and what you were doing and and courage to have the courage and the bravery as you said to make that decision and make that change young many of us and i'm speaking for myself and many in our tribe that i know uh it took me oh my 45 years 40 years you know to even begin to look at who i am so bless you for being a model you know for young people who are watching and even those that um you know aren't considered young by age right because that's only a number but we can make this decision to change our lives and to help others at any point any point and the sooner the better the sooner the better yeah so like you think you um now radiant journey llc um, you had mentioned the occupational therapy, which is beautiful. I, I know people, um, I, I myself have been through it after injuries years ago. How How is that incorporated into the integrative wellness and the whole of Radiant Journey? Can you tell us a little bit more of what you offer through that? Yes, yes. You know, I also want to follow up to what you said about, you know, when do you change? I think I was around 25 when I was at the point where I was just feeling uninspired by what I was doing. I think I actually went back to, I was a little old, 28, I think, 28. You know, they talk about that quarter life crisis. And I feel like now where we are with COVID, it feels like every week brings a new challenge or even every day, every every period of time, like I'm dunking. Um, yeah. So I think the time to make a change is always now. Now is always the best time, wherever, wherever yeah. now is, whenever that comes up. So back to your question, thank you, about asking about integrative wellness. So I was an occupational therapist for about, about eight years, and I was excited about what I was doing. I was privileged to be able to be a, a facilitator and a guide and, and a support for people. But I was finding that there are other modalities out there. And, and it was really interesting because when I, I went to a, it was a transformational movement class that I didn't know the teacher, but I was really excited about this class because it was similar to a to a, a journey dance class that I took at Kukalu for their noon dance. So I looked at them like, oh, I'm going to this. And, and that changed everything for me because this beautiful stranger said to me, are you a yoga teacher? And I said, no, I'm not a yoga teacher. I'm just here to dance. Don't talk to me. I just want to do my thing. I've got an hour and a half. Let's go. I'm on the clock. Let's do this. Um, and she kept saying, no, don't discount it. You could consider it. And I was like, oh my goodness, I don't even know you. Why are you in my face? Um, but she planted the seed because I found myself being so resistant to why I can't be a yoga teacher because I rationalized, I got in my head. I said, well, I'm not in my twenties anymore. I don't look like this. I don't have those type of pants. I'm not as flexible. I don't, I don't, I don't want people looking at me. Um, and then I kind of was like resistant and I noticed my resistance and I, and I reflected, wow, for somebody that's so not interested in something, you're spending a lot of energy finding out why you're not interested. So why don't you go <laughs> there? So I went to like a couple of Q&A sessions at a couple of studios and I found myself really like really being drawn in so much to the point that I had a postcard, two postcards, one to sit in my car and one to sit on my nightstand that I looked at every night before I went to bed, when I woke up, when I got in my car, every time, because I was doing home care for occupational therapy, every time I got in the car, it was there looking at me. So I'm like, my goodness, just this is the universe guiding you, wake up. So I, I, that, so I pursued my 200 hour yoga teacher training and during that time was a transformational part for me or a process for me in the sense that one, I found community. I found a beautiful tribe of people, that, about 28 people plus the teachers there that we all connected. There were no clicks. There was no like, well, I can't sit in that spot because I didn't sit there last week or okay, that person sits over there. I don't want them to judge me. It was beautiful. It was beautiful and it took me a really long time 
the sign community. And as for the teachings and becoming more more aware of where I was in my own body, in my own spirit, in my own heart, I began to notice that in, in traditional settings, healthcare settings, it might interfere with might interfere with healing. And that ultimately what I was what I found in yoga, healing, community, love, body, acceptance, and truly getting out of your head and really connecting with your body and your being as a whole, as a whole complete process unit, if you will. What you said earlier really resonates with me um, because when I think of yoga, I've always been a little apprehensive myself of even going to a yoga class because of how I look and I can't bend like that. And um, yeah, the pants, the whole thing. And um, what you said, I think really helps to empower anybody who's questioning that, you know, to just to move through that, that inner dialogue you know over it through it whatever you have to do to open yourself up to new experiences because waiting behind that door or within that class or from that teacher could be um, something that is going to change and shift your entire journey right um, yeah. imagine if you listened to that inner self that said oh no don't go you know we wouldn't be here so um I think that's just so important to touch on is to, is to to really just push through the fear and be brave. That's what you said today. Be brave. And that's going to be my motto today is be brave. Be Thank brave. You. So you have this occupational therapy and you have uh, your holistic training and, and you've merged it. Tell us a little bit about how our viewers watching now and later can find you. Um, I understand you're mobile. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Well, Radiant Journey, I created my values. And my values are access. And I feel like that is in healthcare. It always comes down to our insurance, our, our transportation, access, and making things accessible. And that's where yoga comes in and making making yoga accessible, accessible for people who might be, have balance challenges, who might um, have bellies, who might, might not want to get on up and off the floor just because they don't want to, and that's okay. So I offer, in terms of integrative wellness, I offer yoga, I offer Reiki, transformational movement process, and so, something that's really beautiful is yoga nidra, which is sleep yoga. The research shows that 20 minutes in sleep, in sleep yoga is equal to an hour of restorative sleep. And it's, it's, it's beautiful. So I offer Tai Chi. I offer an entire array of modalities because I want people to access that and be able to find, connect with Radiant Journey, connect with their own Radiant Journey, and being able to do so in a, through a modality or through a path that works for them. Right. Maybe you don't need occupational therapy, but maybe you're interested in, in connecting with the yoga practice that you can actually do at home. Um, as an occupational therapist and yoga teacher, I bring in together those, the, those skills of analysis of environment, whether it's a home, whether it's a community environment, we're all basically home <laughs> now, um, but or a workplace environment too. I work with individuals, I work with companies, I work with groups, I offer things in person and and virtually too. You know, I talked about that connection to your body. Um, so what I also offer now is coaching, coaching, somatic coaching. The idea of being embodied and really connecting with with your your full being. Um, so I, I I like going to where people where, where the people are. Right, <laughs> so, right. Um, meeting where they're at. Meeting, meeting them where they're at. That's right. In a way that's that's meaningful for them. So, you know, going back, if somebody wants a yoga practice, we can go there and we could. What I love, I love is that when I offer chair yoga, I, I've had people come in and these are people that might not walk in, might, might not either walk or, or be wheelchair bound and roll into a studio because maybe there's stairs. Um, maybe they don't want to be 
you know, have to drag in their oxygen tank. And I've had somebody come into a community-based class with her oxygen on. Uh, I've had people in a wheelchair. And it's nice that you, I love communities important for me. So accessibility, creating communities. Um, I like being a connector. I like, if, I like sharing who I know and inviting other people to come in and maybe it's friendships that develop or maybe maybe it's a resource, maybe I share a book. Uh, right now I'm doing an online better sleep class and it's really about sharing with what's working for you, what's a balance for you, being honest. Um, and I, you know, I wrote down some of my values here, accessibility, compassionate and unique and the idea of all these different modalities and you could find out more on my website to see what it is I offer, uh, so as an occupational therapist and yoga teacher and transformational movement, I have experience working with people of all ages. And by that, I mean, really people of all ages. I've worked with like a newborn. So we're talking about between that zero to three months age and their families to talk about growth and development to talking to a, a parent of a guardian or caregiver of a three-year-old to talk about sleep. How do I improve my child's sleep? How do I get them out of the bed? How do I help them with eating? Um, and also developmentally, like all these things as adults that we may take for granted because our neurological systems and nervous systems are intact, like holding a pencil, like having this conversation. If something is not is interrupted that development how do you function like if if so especially we're seeing everything now i think with this covid time it's totally challenged everything we thought we knew everything right. we thought we knew about functioning so, right. so i've also created a meditation space because for me during in march when everything was like shutting down and you would watch the news and you would see what was happening in the big metropolitan centers and you I would sit and be like oh my god what is happening to this world right now and what is my role in it um so I wanted to do something and I created the calm connect of 15 minutes of peace and calm and I hit here's a secret I created it because I needed it I needed it I needed to find people that wanted to come together and gave me the opportunity to be creative and write and and really Get, get deep and just and have have no agenda, no agenda, no expectation about, oh my goodness, I need to get this many people to come or I hope they all like it. Just come, take what you want, leave the rest, hang out if you want, or go about your day, be well and, and, and be blessed. Um, I love it. Everything that you said, that you said, Jennifer, is in direct alignment with what uh, Lisa and I um coin as our why and our values about the community and connection and being a resource and whether it be through a book or a movie or a simple smile or gesture you know to be that connector um is imperative so bless you and and absolutely i think you're in the right place with our epic tribe no doubt um now i understand scrolling across the bottom is um your newsletter information and i have to say before i turn it back over to jennifer is i receive jennifer's newsletters and i receive hundreds of newsletters all right but there's something special about just seeing the radiant journey the radiant insights come across your email it's always chock full of stuff that really resonates so if you can um and if you're if you're drawn to sign up for Jennifer's newsletter, the information's there, and I'm going to have her tell you a little bit more about where she's at now digitally and how you can find her. Um, because I, it, yeah, you're the whole deal. Thank you, thank you. And it's really, it's been. I remember I went through one of my trainings, my my Journey Dance training, and Tony Bergens, who's created Journey Dance, this modality said to me at the very end, she's like, you're at the end of the first module um, of the three modules, she said, you're ready to be seen. And I remember looking at her like, what, what do you mean? And, <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I'm ready. And it really is about 
stepping into your own power. And that's what I love about Radiant Journey, that you, you, you're you setting the course. The skills I have, I share with you. You know, I, I always remember when I work with the clients, not all clients, but clients that need occupational therapy, particularly in the traditional healthcare model, you're so used to be, something being done to you. So I would have people, especially if I'm meeting them at a, at a, in a institution, if you will, a rehab center. You know, the question is, you know, they're laying in bed. What are you going to do to me? And I like to say, I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm here to talk to you. We're going to have a conversation. Let's see what's going to work for you. I make a proposal. I make recommendations. You tell me honestly if that's going to work. You tell me honestly if you're not doing your exercises, and we'll find out what are the, what's the obstacles. Um, so digitally, uh, since COVID, I, everything's kind of blossomed in this virtual space. I'm on Facebook as Radiant Journey LLC. I'm on Instagram as Radiant Journey Jennifer, because somebody took Radiant Journey. <laughs> um, they had it before, so there's an abundance of names. So that's it. Radiant Journey Jennifer. <laughs> and on my website, I am in the process of redesigning it. Um, so if you, I would love to share with you my Radiant Insights. It's my own original writings that I say inspire, they provoke reflection and they cultivate calm, clarity, and and courage. And there's and there's free gifts in them. Sometimes I'm giving, I'm offering a meditation. So at the bottom of the page, that website now, it'll say contact Jennifer. So just drop in your information, you, and I'll get that email. And then you could say yes, I want your Radiant Insights. I will share you, share them with you. They are they come out Mondays and Fridays. And you'll be in the loop on all my upcoming events. Uh, every Friday at noon, I have my Calm Connect, my meditation space. It's via Zoom. You need the link to get in. I keep that private because I want to create a, a sacred space for in a community for people to enjoy without any compromise. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Sakura. Well, thank you for sharing your love and your light. And, and I can feel your passion. And I know that our live viewers are feeling it and anybody who watches the recording, they're feeling it too. So please leave us any comments, reach out to Jennifer at the www.radiantjourneyllc.com. Go down to the bottom of the page, contact Jennifer, send her over your information. There's something for everybody in the Radiant Insight newsletter. I can say that from experience. Um, so bless you. I can't wait to have you back on. Thank you. It's good to be back. Oh, yeah, we're going to come together. You know it. Now you're part of the epic tribe. You're an epic tribe. Hope to see some writing maybe in publication next year. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah, and I, you, have, you have something to share. I'd love myself personally to learn more about the um, transformational dance. I believe you called it. I wrote Journey Dance. That is just unbelievable. So we can talk more about that. Sounds good. But, can, yeah. I invite you? can I invite I wanted to say one more thing. Is that okay? Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, people can also connect with me at Jennifer at Radiant Journey LLC.com. So I like responding to people personally. So if you got something you want to share about where you are on your own path and you also want to learn to sign up for my Radiant Insights, send me an email. Send me an email at Jennifer at Radiant Journey LLC.com and I'll, and I'll get back to you. I love it. I love it. Thank, thank you so much. You know, thank you. And I want to thank everybody that's watching now or that'll be watching later. Um, just remember that we're here. We're here. Uh, Epic is here. Radiant Journey is here to, you know, empower, inspire, uplift, and to, you know, be some fuel for that bravery and courage it may take just to take that next step. So you're not alone. You have us as a community. You have Jennifer. You have Epic. You have our whole tribe. You know, we're here for you. Um, we talked a lot about community today, and that is at the heart of the epic mission. So, my beautiful peeps, until tomorrow, we'll be back at 11. I want you to all, you know, have a safe day. Have a safe day. Be well. Um, stay true to who you are, right? And there is a quote on our website today uh, from Beyonce that it says something to the effect of, it's not about being perfect. It's about the purpose that you bring. So remember, you are imperfectly perfect and you are loved. So be true to who you are. And as always, be safe and peace out, 
Epic Scouts because you are loved and you are light. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everyone.